Hi everyone, in this video I am going to share you Samsung Galaxy Note 9's S Pen tips. Now I have made several videos about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, uh, be it capturing portrait shots with the Note 9 or other interesting videos such as the Samsung's One UI beta program. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to watch those videos, hit that subscribe button and do share this video with your friends. Alright, let's look at the S Pen tips today. So as you guys know, this is really uh, the phone which is very functional in terms of S Pen. Now this is the S Pen with a single button over here. Now this acts as a uh, remote device that means you can control it remotely from certain distance and still uh, access the functions that you always want to. So for example as I remove the S Pen while I am on the home screen here now this is the pop-up thing that you will get right. So what you can do over here is you can set these icons or rather applications. So say that I use this pen up application a lot and I want that to be over here. What I can do is just go to the add shortcuts, just tap on this plus and here the shortcuts appear. Not just that app but still whatever application you want to keep it as your priority, you can just do that. Just say I want the pen up to be on the top, just I tap on that and again uh, as I keep moving up. So now that's the first thing it will appear just as you can see now if I take back and here you have it. So this way you can shuffle and keep the applications uh, which are your priority. I want to change the positions of these applications again you just go to the add shortcuts and whatever application you use it often and what application you want to be on the top side let's say you want to be you want the gmail app to be on top you can just tap and hold and place it wherever you want. Now boom there you have it. Now just as I tap this one. Now the Gmail application should be here. So this is very easy and convenient way of uh, approaching the applications while you are using the S Pen. Now the second thing that we'll be looking at is the Smart Select. Now how to bring the Smart Select? What I have done is using this remote function just as I tap and hold the S Pen, now the Smart Select is ready. Now wherever I want I can use this Smart Select feature and boom there you have it. Now this particular thing is selected. If there is any text inside it you just can tap extract text and as you can see here 422 is the number uh, which it recognized as a text and it will give you you can either share it or even you can copy it. So this is very convenient features that the S Pen offers. Now let's take back again you can use this to draw or something let's say you want to uh, highlight this one you can just highlight and send it to your friend so that they know what you are trying to send or even you can use other brush and even color it let's say you want to highlight this gallery app you can write this thing and then save it or you can directly quickly share it to your friends or even on other applications. Now you can use this crop feature here as well there is also undo function here which is always appreciated. Now these are the kind of things that you can do. If I tap on back again it asks me for the confirmation if you just don't want to save just say discard. Now here as you can see this little icon over here this allows you to actually manually select the way you want. Now as you can see it's smart selected the icons list if you want to add something you can always press on this plus mark here and then let's say you want to add this one you can again add it and let's press on done. Now as you can see this is individually selected if I just tap on save so the item is saved in gallery. Now let's move on to the gallery and see in which format this thing is saved ok. So in order to check that just tap on this three dots or you can either swipe down like this to go back or swipe up for the details. Now as you can see now as you can see if I just hover over this title because the title is uh, very much lengthy if I just hover over the pen as you can see it is saved in .png that means you can use this format in various other applications on your PC and further continue to edit the image. This is really awesome feature that comes with the S Pen. So this is really appreciated. Now I will be making several videos 
uh, say the tips and tricks or even the new things that I come across. So make sure you are subscribed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Hit that like button if you want to see these kind of uh, tutorials and videos. All right, moving on. Again, if I show the smart select one here, as you will see, if I just tap on the smart select, I can either tap over here and I have set the remote button to work as a smart select. If I just tap and hold, boom, there you go. Smart select option is selected. Now you can use this tool in order to say if you want to trim this much, you can just do that by moving like this. Now that is trimmed again. Let's move on to some other application so that you'll know it better. Let's say I open this one tap and hold on any of these letters over here boom there you go it's selected you can either refer to dictionary you can instantly share this text or even you can select it manually like this say that you want to select this much you can always select that and uh, instantly copy it it will be copied to your clipboard you can use it later whenever you want you can use the find you can use web search now all those things will be searched and the Google results will again appear here. So this is, these kind of things are really convenient I would say. Let's say I am into this one and I instantly want to select this one, turn on night mode. Let's say I want to select this text, I'm in the middle of something. Yet I just press and hold this button. As you can see, it just changed it to text cursor. As you will see here, now easily I can select only this part of the text and still I can copy and share this thing. Now that's the awesome thing about having the S Pen in the Note series. So this is really convenient and an awesome feature I would say. Now let's say how I made this button to act as a smart select. Okay, let's look at that. I'll tap on this S Pen and if I tap here, we will go to the settings page. Now let me reduce the brightness for you guys. Okay, now we are in the S Pen settings. As you will see here, the first thing that appears is the S Pen remote. Now, how you want this button to be acting? Say that you want this button to actually perform certain action. Then what you want to do is hold down pen button 2. You just tap on this one and there you go. So many things appear over here based on your preference. Let's say if I press and hold this button, I want the gallery app to open up. Okay, so if I choose gallery, all right, so let's take this thing back and let's say we are on the home screen or so let's say we are just browsing the internet and I quickly want to go to the gallery just I tap and hold this button boom there you go right this is very convenient this is very very nice and nifty feature I would say that you won't get in any other mobile so be proud of owning a note 9 guys now remember this is Samsung's one UI beta experience program that I am running currently on this mobile so there might be some bugs and it may not work as expected sometimes but still they are improving and certainly all those things will be uh, very much fluidly working in the upcoming days as they release the uh, new updates now again moving on uh, you can use the camera application so let's say I open the camera application and if I want to quickly capture a picture obviously I'll use this as a shutter button so as I tap this button quickly takes a picture so this is how conveniently you can use the S Pen and uh, not just keeping the mobile here if you want to say capture selfies you can keep it at certain distance and still use this S Pen as a remote function to click a picture just like this so it's really handy feature if you just double tap your selfie camera will open instantly and this is how quick it is as you will see here so these are the kind of things that you can actually do with the s pen other than just writing jotting down or even drawing with the s pen again moving on to the s pen remote as you as you are seeing guys just with the s pen's remote setting you have so many things that you can do uh, let's say you are browsing the samsung internet and you can use the single press to actually go back so you can double press to actually go forward. So that way you can use this and take advantage of having a S Pen. And here's the master control. No matter what application you are using, when you are in camera app, if you just single press this button, it will click a picture for you. And in similar fashion, if you just single press this one while you are actually viewing any content, then it will act as a play and pause. You can double press to skip the track. So this is very handy and you can use it that way. Let's say I want to select this text quickly. If I just hold the button and as you are seeing, so I can quickly select anything that's available on the phone if it supports. So that's a nifty feature as well. 
again as uh, you can see here unlock with S Pen remote so there is screen off memo that means while you have locked the screen and just as I remove the S Pen you can instantly write down the things that you want and then save it so that way it gives you settings to change the signature color now I have got the blue color node and that's why this yellow signature pen you have got so with this color if you want to write yellow color you can use this S Pen signature color okay so that thing you can change over there now there is air view that means if I just hold like this some information displays right so that's with the air view and as you can see here if I just hold over here you can use this air view if I just hold on the albums inside the gallery you can view all the photos inside the gallery or inside the particular album so that way you can use it and another one is here direct pen input again just like I showed earlier while you are writing text you can always use that so this was just a brief video about showing you how to use the S Pen remote now I'll be making a lot of other videos regarding the S Pen tips so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content all right guys see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye